To start off this Unix System Administration Essentials course, one of the first things we'd like to cover is navigating the command line. Now a lot of folks have not used the command line much. Some of you may have used it in Windows. Some of you may have even used it in Linux. For those people, this will be a little bit familiar, but for those of you who haven't, this will be a new experience. We're going to cover several different things when we talk about navigating the command line, but understand this is just a very basic introduction as designed to get you familiar with navigating the command line. As we go throughout the entire course, you'll learn a lot more about the command line, since most of the course takes place at the command line. A few of the things we'll cover during this session is logging in using a user account and a password. We'll also look at directory navigation, how to look inside a directory and see what its contents are, and also how to change directories. We'll also look at how to get help with commands, because a lot of these commands have a lot of different switches and a lot of different things that you can do to them to make them do different things. So we'll take a look at those things. Having said that, let's go ahead and log into our BSD Unix box. We're at our command prompt for BSD Unix, and basically what we're going to do is log in. Now traditionally you may have seen logging into a Windows system, you may have seen a graphical user interface, or if you've logged into even a Linux system you may have seen a GUI also. But we're, don't, we don't have a GUI installed yet and we're not going to install one just yet. We're going to log in to the command line. So in order to do that we need to have a username and a password and right now we're going to use root as our username. And later on in the course we'll talk about why this isn't a very good idea to log in as root but we will go ahead and do it for this session and later we'll show you how to add a user account and log in using that user account. As I said, we're not going to log in using a GUI system. We're at the command prompt now. We're in what's called a shell and the shell basically is command line interpreter. The shell is what interprets your commands and passes them on to the operating system for execution. So we're at the shell. Right now the shell prompt and you can tell we're logged in as root because in most Unix variants or even some Linux variants when we have the hash mark sign or pound sign or number sign as some folks refer to it as then we're logged in as root. That's our prompt. If we were logged in as a normal user we might see a dollar sign there. So let's go ahead and do some things here using the root login at the shell prompt. Now the first thing we might want to know is where are we at? We're logged in but where are we at? A simple command called pwd or print working directory as it's known in Unix will tell us where we're at and right now we're at slash root. That's actually a directory. That's root's home directory by default. Now what's in root's home directory? This might be equivalent to in Windows the my documents folder by the way. This is where all of root's documents go by default. Let's take a look and see what's in root's home folder. Let's type in ls and that's the command to list the contents of a directory. If we were in Windows it might be the dir command. So we've done the ls and we see some things that are in root's home directory. Now we also might want to use a command switch such as dash al and a switch basically modifies the command and makes it do a little bit of a different thing and we type that in and we see a few different things. We see permissions for the files in root's home directory. We see who owns the folders and the file which is root. We see file creation dates and we see the files themselves. So we see a little bit of different listing just by using the dash al switch. And again a switch modifies the command somewhat. So now that we've seen what's in there let's go ahead and change directories. Let's change to a different directory. The cd command or change directory command basically changes directories. We could tell it a specific directory if we like or we can just type in a space and two dots and that would take us up one level in the directory structure. So where are we at now? Well let's type pwd and find out. We're in just a slash directory. That's the root directory and that's basically the directory that all other directories attach to. Now if we see that we are in the root directory, let's do an ls-al and see what's in the root directory. And We see a lot of important files and directories and some of the directories we'll see include slash etsy, slash boot, slash proc, slash mount, and those are some of the more important directories in Unix. Let's take a look inside one of those directories, the etsy directory for example. So let's type in cd to change directory again, and let's put the absolute path, that's the full path name, the slash, that's where we're at now, and etc or etsy, and hit enter. Now we're in etsy, and we can trust that we are, but if we want to make sure, we could again type in pwd. So we type in pwd and hit enter. That shows us that that's where we're at. Now let's take a look inside the slash etsy directory and see what's there. And as you can see, there are a lot of things in there, a lot of different files. And these files are basically configuration files. That's what slash etsy has a lot of, is configuration files for the system. So now that we're there, we could also cd back 
to the slash directory, the root directory, and again, type in the switch, and we can see what's in there. Now, speaking of commands, you notice that I typed in the command a little bit differently that time. I did a dash LA instead of an AL, and that's okay. There's some flexibility with commands, but there are some times when you need to know what options you can use with the command. Let's go ahead and type in the clear command, and that's going to clear our screen. Give us a little bit of a clean screen to work with here. And there are a couple of different ways you can find out what the different options are that you can use with Unix commands. And these are very helpful. The two ways are the man and the dash info. Let's say we wanted to look at all the different things we could do with the CD command. We might type in dash info and that would tell us what the usage is. The other thing we could do is type in the man or the Unix manual command and type in the command CD, man CD, and that would tell us what the CD command is and does. In order to scroll through here, we could hit the enter button, which takes us one space at a time, or the space button, it's the space bar, which takes us through one page at a time. And when we get to the end, basically we get back to the prompt. Now we've covered a couple of different ways we can get help with Unix commands, and we've also looked very carefully at navigating the directory in the command line. Now we're going to cover some more things as we go, especially in the next session coming up. So don't think that you've learned everything there is to know about navigating the commands line just yet.